To sell a package, all you need to do is enter the item ID of the package into the main sales screen as if it was just another item in inventory, where the quantity will represent the quantity of the items or services included in that package. In this case, we will enter a gym membership package into the item ID field and we will enter the quantity of the products or services that we want to include in this package, in our case, hours of exercising in the gym. So we will input 200 in the quantity field to represent 200 hours of exercising in the gym. When you tender the sale, you pretty much tender it the same way as you would any other sale. The only thing you need to make sure of is that in this sale, it is very important to get the customer info correctly to make sure that this package gets assigned to the right customer in order for them to be able to use it in the future. Now when a customer has acquired a package, in order to use the package, you would go to the Customer Search Add Update feature. In here you need to retrieve the customer's info the same way you would if you needed a customer's info for any other reason. After you have the customer info in front of you, all you need to do is click the Member Packages button, which will open up the Member Packages feature for that certain customer. In here you can see all of the packages that the customer has acquired, their expiration date if any, the included products or services in the package, their total quantity, as well as used and remaining quantity. In this example, we will assume that the customer is using two hours of their gym membership, so we will select two for quantity, we will select the service or product we want to use from the package, and add it to the list below by clicking the Add button. When we are done selecting all the products and services that we will use at the moment, including the correct quantity, simply click the Use From Package button. As you can see, the service that we use from the package, including its correct quantity, is placed on the sales screen as if we are to sell it to the customer, however it has a price of zero. This is in order to make a record of the customer's use of their service in the system, and also in order for the customer to get a receipt if you wish to give a receipt for every usage instance of a package. You tender this virtual sale as you would any other sale with the exceptions of not collecting any funds from the customer because the sale is in the amount of zero and the customer ID screen at sale time will be pre-filled with the correct customer info so to eliminate mistakes in assigning who used the package. Later, if we go back to the customer record and enter their member packages section, we can see the updated info of the used quantity and the remaining quantity of the service. Also, if you click on either one of those numbers, you will see that the lower details table will display detail records of when each service or item within the package was acquired, including the employee that helped the customer at each instance. This is useful for when and if you and your customer need to review their usage of the package. <laughs>